Welcome back, YouTube family, to episode number seven in the free Amazon FBA course. We're talking all things wholesale, and in this section, we're actually going through some preliminary stuff. I'm entitling it, what is the buy box? As we mentioned in the previous episode, um, it's very important to understand what the buy box is, as well as the bestseller rank, which we'll get into uh, in the next episode. So let's just jump right into it here and explain what the buy box actually means. So if I go ahead and just search for toys, um, any any uh, item that you search, you know, you can click it, um, and we'll see the buy box here shortly. So in this case, and I wouldn't want to use Hatchimals as an example, but Amazon has the buy box there. But let's just look at something that uh, Amazon doesn't have the buy box for. Hopefully, <laughs> they they do end up having the buy box for uh, a lot of these uh, a lot of these products. But we could go ahead and look at this one. Um, so Amazon has this position, the first position which is known as the buy box, which means if anyone adds this product to their cart from here, it's Amazon themselves who's going to be shipping that product, okay? Now, there are other sellers down here, down here selling it as well, so we can see the 15 new sellers here, right? Now, these are third-party shops, LDL shops, S&D Online, Big Savings, etc., but they don't have that first position or the buy box, okay? which is right above the add to cart button, which means anyone who buys it from that page, which 100% of people are buying it from this page, they're not seeing these other sellers, which are very hidden, okay, other sellers on Amazon. 100% of the sales are going to come from this position. So essentially, these sellers down here have the, that product uh, for sale on Amazon for no use. You know, Amazon's going to get the sale 100% of the time, unless they're able to lower their price, which... At 388, it's very difficult to compete with Amazon. Remember, they don't have to pay the fees, shipping, none of that. It's it's their own company. Okay. Uh, this is also known as the buy box seller. I just want to go ahead and use another example so we can clarify uh, the buy box seller amongst third party sellers. So if we go ahead and search for another company, for example, Sexy Hair, and we select one of their items. Okay, this is sold by Amazon as well. Um, or actually, maybe we can select the two-pack. Uh, let's see if... Okay, so this is a good example of uh, Salon's Choice now has the buy box, okay? And it says fulfilled by Amazon, meaning Amazon's going to ship it. There are four other sellers on this one who also have the product at $20.99 and $20.98, okay? Now, why does Salon, Salon Choice have the buy box, has that first position? Because his price is one penny lower than the next person in line, okay? Another factor that goes into who has the buy box is fulfillment by Amazon. That is a big factor. Review count. So if you have 100% positive feedback compared to 99%, that's going to affect your position uh, at the buy box. And that's pretty much it, okay? These sellers uh, don't have good reviews. They're not doing prime and their price is higher, okay? Uh, I don't even know why they're listing it. Essentially, what they're waiting for is for these two to run out of inventory, and then they'll have the buy box by default, okay? And, you know, he has apparently 870 units in stock, while these two only have 44 and 15 collectively, okay? So, once these two run out, which is going to be fairly soon according to his calculation, well, let's see, 15,000 in beauty, which it's going to be sold out in about a month. If these two don't restock on their inventory, then the the previous seller, this guy, Latest Beauty, is going to have the buy box. I hope that makes sense and it's clear. It's pretty confusing on uh, people who don't understand, like, okay, uh, why isn't it that I didn't make that sale? Maybe it's because another seller lowered their price. They have better reviews. So all in all, bottom line, in order for you to have the, uh, have the buy box, uh, make sure your uh, price is competitive with other sellers that you're doing fulfillment by Amazon, and that your review count on your store uh, is higher and, and positive. So have a good cu customer experience, okay? Um, I hope that makes sense, guys. It's it's not that complicated, but we really need to understand this in order to uh, make product selection decisions. So uh, that's it for Buy Box. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the next video, and we're going to talk about the bestseller rank, which is equally, if not more, important than the Buy Box. And I'll see you then.